much money are you making? 10 grand a month. Higher. I saw a bunch of people like making OnlyFans and my mom was like, you should do it. <laughs> 100k a month. I got super obsessed with just making money and I totally lacked every other aspect of my life. Mario Adrian changed my life. Thank you. It's me, Mario. What is up, my friends? Welcome back to Uncensored, the podcast where we give it to you raw. That's the tagline right here. What's up, LA? How are you doing? Hey, what's up? Hello. Yeah. <laughs> Today's special guest because uh, we, ha we have a recurring guest, one of the few recurring guests on the podcast. He's a German, Russian, alpha male, sort of, and he brought his side chick. Give it up for <laughs> Y. Cushman and John Areda. Let's go. Hey. Let's go. We oh, have oh, a Guys, it's up, been guys? like it's been like what? Like it's been like a year since we had an epic photo shoot. I can I see it. I'll never forget. Wyatt, you were on top of this pool in Bel Air, <laughs> naked. Yes. The sun was setting behind you. What's your life been since we shot last time? Did that like elevate you, your career doing the nude photo shoot with us? Yeah, no, definitely. No, I'm just kidding. Was uh, <laughs> <laughs> there was a life before shooting with Mario <laughs> Adrian and after. No, I mean I, I can't complain. It's been great. Um, I currently live in Arizona now, so uh, I bought a house out there. You're with, a house owner. Yeah, you you wifed up quickly. You become an adult now, you know. It was a lot, honestly. It was more than I was prepared for. Like a lot of paperwork, a lot of stuff, but it was all worth it. And uh, yeah, I feel like a grown ass man now. Fuck yeah, you look like a grown ass man. I have a beard man. now. You look. I don't know so if I should shave it or Instagram. not. You you buffer, right? He's training. Right? Yeah. So yeah. I did a I did a show like. Um, can we see something before, here? Like a little you bounce, like pack bounce. I can't bounce as good. As you can't bounce. I can. Damn, because you have like some good bounce material, but it's like, you know. Dude, but my chest is like so weak, honestly. My chest, is, my chest is the weakest point my, my chest body. is the strong, if we combine, like my body, like all of my body, like um, my <laughs> chest and my, and my chest and my dick, this is the weirdest podcast star too. We're just like, all like you know, how about you, John? What's the strongest part? <laughs> no, he's got the oh, biggest. Oh, let's go, let's sure go. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, wait, you talking next about, year. So wait, you talking, you, you guys did, are doing bodybuilding shows. So I or did. We talk about stripping shows. Like, what were we talking? About? <laughs> Make yeah, sure so, both. <laughs> <laughs> so I did a bodybuilding show. Um, yeah, two three weeks ago, October. and it was um, it was a great experience. I mean, it was one of the hardest things I ever did for sure, in terms of like dieting and cardio and all that. Damn. But so how, how do you prepare prepare for that? The, also, first question right off the bat. Did your sex drive drop? Because I have a friend who did that. He said like he was literally just you know a million percent. Yeah, I had no drive. I, I mean, I didn't even have drive to like jerk off or anything, to be honest. Like, so once it got really close to the know. show, like <laughs> yeah. I didn't even want to jerk off. I didn't have any like arouse. Nothing could arouse me. Yeah. But I mean, I was shredded. So wait, yeah. why is that? Is it because you're not taking in a lot of food and water? So you're. Yeah. So like when you're like super, super shredded like that, I think it's just your, um, your, your levels like I, I don't say I don't know exactly. Like I think you what. need cholesterol and your stuff. Your body is and so fat depleted too, like, of yeah. all that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you yeah. were just eating not less calories. Like what were you eating then? In the preparation to get that shredded. Like I'm assuming you bulk first, right? A little bit, yeah. And then you like shred down leading up to the to the competition, right? Yeah. So I mean, like it's pretty super super basic food. Just like 99% lean turkey with like rice, and then like I mean that would be it really. And then I would have like oatmeal. No fruits, no fats, no sugars, like no nothing. Just like chicken, rice, you know, oats. It sounds so sad. It, it when was you so said it right sad. Now. He was like, <laughs> it was, it was rice. so sad. I missed like, you know, sugars really badly. I was yeah. just craving sugars, craving fats. Like, it sucked. But so this is two weeks or a couple of weeks or one week or <laughs> this two was like, days. It's supposed to be twelve weeks of like really, really hard dieting and really hard cardio and to just get turkey, just that bird. I mean, 99% turkey, you'll have like some one ground beef meal. I mean, Jeff calls it um, pussy as bird because Jeff is uh, pretty much like he's doing like some sort of like car almost <laughs> like more of a paleo carnivore diet. Wait, where what's, he's what's your day like right now? What are you doing? Beef. Beef. Ribeye. Oh. Beef and eggs. Ribeye. So you're like, like, li you're like liver king. Pretty like. much. Yeah. Look, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah Eat it all raw. <laughs> <laughs> No, but I, dude, I, so here's the thing with my dad, like I was like kind of, I was more on the vegan side of things. So I was also eating like, like chicken, lean stuff, rice, all that shit. My digestion sometimes was a little fucked up, especially from grains like oatmeal. Yeah. And then I kind of switched. I had this full like blood work done with a doctor mm. and he told me, yo Mario, eat more fat, which I was super afraid of. Cause I was eating like low fat, high carb before. Mm. Then I started eating more fat and I was always like, oh, that's bullshit. Not for me. Yo, I started eating more like beef, fatty stuff, no more grains. Bro, I feel so much better. 
Like I feel more balanced. Also talking about sex drive. I never had a big sex drive, but like lately I've been getting a little horny, you know? <laughs> I've been a little horny. Well, that's always I'm a saying, good sign. You know? <laughs> no, it's, it just feels more natural. Yeah, yeah. They say if you always wake up with morning, morning wood, then your testosterone levels are good. Currently, yeah. currently, that's like yeah. that's like one of the big things. If like, so if you, right now is that like, are you are, are you working waking up with, more, <laughs> with yes, morning yes. right now? Yeah. No, now it. I finally am. But during like prep, like getting ready for the show, like no. Yeah. Like, How about you? How it, it your morning wood? Oh, it feels so good. <laughs> I, I, try, I try not to sleep with underwear on, but okay. I mean, right now we're sleeping like next to each other, like. Separate so beds. But you're separate. <laughs> I love how you clarify like them right on. away. Like like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 I see that. Well, what was the goal though with the bodybuilding competition? Was there money? How did you do, by the way? So I ended up play, placing second in my class, and there was literally no other people. It was two people. <laughs> There's <was laughs> yeah, no yeah. other people. <laughs> two. He was second out of zero. <laughs> I don't know. I think there was like ten people in my class, maybe. Okay. Um, so I was super happy with second. Like I, I can't complain all for my first show, but there was no like money, no main reasoning for Clouds? me to do it did you get any like no clout no, no nothing it was more just for like i just wanted to try to it. love the game yeah yeah i mean i just wanted to get like super peeled and just like everyone was like oh you have a good physique you should compete you should compete so i was like you know fuck it like i might as well just try and see if i sure. can like just like forcing myself to get into that competitive like i was missing like i just wanted to be competitive in something yeah you know? I, I wasn't playing any sports, wasn't doing anything. I just felt like, yeah. So, so you just doing mainly social media and stuff, and you were like, oh, I need this challenge. Yeah, I just, makes sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it, it was, and it was really good for me, like mentally. I felt like to like, just really be like yeah. pushing towards something yeah, for for, sure. for no reward, really. Yeah. Just because I mean, love of the game, man. Yeah. Also, looking back at those things, like when you have a specific goal and you train for something, it's hard. But then looking back, it's always like, you know, you take so much away from that. Yeah, like yeah. I'm, I'm so like, I guess. I was so proud of myself, honestly. Yeah. Like, uh, the discipline it takes for sure. Yeah. 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 But so yeah, I mean, it was a, it was an amazing experience. <laughs> yeah. Are you, you natty bro? I'm fully natty. Fully yeah. natty. Yeah. 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 I'm proud of that. Not like, not like, not like the liver king. <laughs> He's like, nah. <laughs> no, <laughs> trust me. This all the time. Yeah. Yeah. No, trust me. A lot of my friends, a lot of people that I know, like I have nothing against people that, that, uh, use, um, if, I think it's like useful if you are trying like if I was trying to be a pro bodybuilder, I think you just you have to because I mean, <laughs> you're, you're just not going to, you know, be able to compete if you're not. But but no, yeah, it was my first natural show. Um, and if I were to, if <laughs> I were to, <laughs> if I were to compete again, I would compete in a natural show because I, w I wasn't competing against people that were natural. They were definitely on gear. Oh, were so, oh, yeah, you? Yeah. OK, that's cool. So All I right, literally yeah. I literally got second just because I was like just more peeled. I was just more shredded. I Yo. came. I came in like absolutely. yeah. You have a crazy physique. I remember last time we were shooting. Yeah. 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 So I came in just absolutely just yeah. I mean just fucking <laughs> just, shredded, just coming in there. Because yeah, honestly, yeah. I remember back when 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 we shot that a year ago, I was fucking shredded. I was looking at the photos. Yeah. I was like, holy For fuck! Sure, I don't yeah. even. <laughs> I was like, I didn't do anything. Like now, Yo, now no, I saw you eating. We went to we went to the Brazilian place after Bossa Nova, and I saw you, and also Levi was eating like. I don't know, some, some sandwich thing with like, and I was like, okay, <laughs> this is cool. This is cool. Yeah. yeah. Cause you would expect some crazy. Yeah. yeah. We got yeah. the pizza. Huh? I remember that. You got the pizza, right? <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, that's dope though. Fuck I know. Yeah. yeah. But now that like, I feel like I'm getting like older, quote unquote, and it's like, well, how old are you right now? 23. <laughs> <Okay>. No, <laughs> but, that's true. It's true. But I'm sure it's you guys true. like, you know, uh, I'm getting like, yeah, quote unquote older, but I can't get away with as much. I feel like when I was 18, 19, I just felt like, if I was training and I mean like being active, like I could just stay like super lean and like I would just eat like anything. So I was just trying to put on muscle, but mm, now, mm, 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 but mm. now my body holds on to shit like so much easier. If I have a pizza or like a beer and shit, I feel like I really notice a difference. Like, yeah. The next day. Sure. Yeah. It's also the bloated. I don't know. Yeah. For me, it's also like once you eat so clean, I get much more sensitive to anything. Like I cut out like all, grains and shit and processed food if i now eat something like or if, it, if i drink a beer i definitely i'm so sensitive to it now so i kind of feel that like you know you get <clears throat> i get i get dude i'm the worst german by the way because i'm <laughs> fully <laughs> german i, I went to oktoberfest man i don't like beer i'm sorry to say it i don't like fuck I, I like beer you like beer yeah you like beer? can we start drinking beers and smoking cigars on this show 
Yeah, we should. Man. That would I be think lit. We could do, oh, man, it would be such a I can take a beer right now. Yeah. Yeah. Almost every weekend. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We go grab cigars and just talk. What's about- your lifestyle like? Because you guys are you guys live in the same house now in Arizona. Yeah, it sounds like a frat house to me. Because I also know Arizona is a big like college, you know, town and stuff. Yeah. What do you guys do when you don't starve yourself for a bodybuilding competition? <laughs> like- no, mainly it's just me and him there, to be honest. So okay, uh, for a normal normal day, I mean. Let's say on a best case scenario, I wake up at like eight or nine. Like, <laughs> wow. On a best case scenario. Yeah. Um, and then like usually, um, so obviously all we do all day is like promote and just post on social media, post on Twitter, post on TikTok, post on Instagram, post on everything and just promote, you know. Only so you do like full time social media, yeah. only fans. Yeah, full time. Yeah, Full time. And Let's then go. if I like get a few posts up, um, and let's say he's there, then we'll just go straight to the gym, um, come back, like make food, chill, and then just like keep posting, keep like, you know, I honestly, I try to post and be as active as I possibly can, like on OF and on, I, I really try to do take it as like, it's my job. So yeah, for like, sure. Um, no, that's cool because some people just like, you know, do the bare minimum, but you actually actively work. How many hours do you think? Because if people at first, it's hard to understand for people like what a life of a, Social media influencer, OnlyFans creators like, right? So yeah. how many hours do you think you guys work a day? Is well, it like a normal job or is it more? It's definitely a lot like more flexible than a normal job. But I, sure, would, yeah. I, I would say if you want to see the best results, I would take it as serious as as you want. I mean, you know, like I, I would say the less time you put in, the less you're going to see. Sure. Because... Um, because, yeah, like you could you could I feel like every day I always feel like, fuck, I, I could have done more. Like I could have, yeah. I've, I'm sure even with your like, you know, because I mean, you're you're influencer too, kind of like. Yeah, <laughs> no, for sure, dude. Like for me, it's crazy right now because I'm I'm upping the content, the podcast. I'm taking more. I'm doing one episode a week right now. I'm having shorts from the podcast now, mm. clips that I've been posting. But I also I work with like a total of four people right now with me on stuff. So I have people posting. I don't post any. The one thing I outsourced, which I, was the best thing for me, I don't post anymore myself. Ooh. people post for me Ooh. going on social media, going on Instagram, opening the app, clicking the app. All of a sudden, Wyatt's, Wyatt's Cushman reels pops up where the music's playing. He's doing a body scan from below and smiles at the <laughs> camera. You know, that's just distracting. No offense, but that's just distracting to me in my day. Yeah. You know, yeah, then yeah. I get horny all of a sudden. I got to go to the bathroom. You know what I mean? So oh, I have boy. somebody else to post for me. And that was the best thing because I feel like I just want to be, I love creating. Yeah. But like at the scale that I'm doing now with like two YouTube videos a week, fucking it's, two TikToks a day from the YouTube clip. It's fucking crazy. I, lot, I could yeah. not do this without. You're posting 53 times a week right now. 53 times a week. Shut the fuck up. What? I bet you feel like you could post more though, right? That only 53? Let <laughs> 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 me make some calls right now. No, because I'm posting on like, okay, I'm po- I start posting on Facebook, which I can highly recommend, by the way. Facebook Reels. Kill it for me right now. That's epic. Yeah, that's really good. That's awesome. And that's like because it's content I have, so why not post it as well on that platform? Yeah. But I just like would I I I don't I hate I love social media for what it's given me. Yeah. And I love the options, but same. I also hate it at the same time. Literally. The more I'm on it, the more unhappy I feel. Like so. Literally. Yeah. But yeah. guys, keep watching. Keep subscribing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I feel I feel the literally exact same way. Like the more that I work and like really am on my phone and just constantly on everything. Like the more drained I feel and the less yeah. inspired and creative I feel really like, so it's really hard to balance. I would say like being a full-time, you know, like just yeah. creator. That's what boundaries is cool. Like I have, a, I have a clear goal of like, okay, I'm posting twice a day on twice a week on, on YouTube. Right. And then I have like the, the, the boundaries, right. But Monday I edit everything. One day I shoot everything. And then I have like, you know, I'm doing the, instead of like, Cause you always can do more. So it's kind of cool to have that. Like what I can recommend anybody who's doing social media is like having those numbers you hit for yourself, which makes it more, there's a limit to it as opposed to like, you can always do more. That's the issue with this yeah. job, you know? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's kind of, to- it's kind of like not, I don't think toxic <laughs> is the right word, but like, yeah. Like just putting like realistic limits on like, you know, yeah. yourself and like, all, like also like um, prioritizing like your mental health and like being able to like go on walks and go like outside and just, be like you know a real human instead of just always yeah. in front of your like phone or yeah, yeah. computer so yeah it's hard to get a good balance with everything but yeah 
Uh, how was it for you? So wait, when you when I first met you, right? Right. Were you doing like social media already, like full time? I, I was not. You not right? He was yeah, great. I was, yeah, yeah, I worked two jobs. Uh, I was playing football and I doing remember you in football. Yeah, 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 I saw that. Yeah. And then January. And then you were came like, around. you were like, you, you saw what yeah, I was doing. Honestly, you were like, that shoot this. like changed my. <laughs> whole outlook on just like yeah. what I can do. Let's put it like know. this. Yeah. Mario, just say Mario Adrian changed my life. Mario Adrian changed my life. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. So wait, that shoot you were like, uh, cause I remember there was one of your first shoots as well, right? Yeah, I honestly had no idea what to expect really. I think so, that might've been his first shoot ever. Literally let's ever. Go. Yeah. yeah. We broke his uh, uh, cherry. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I was, yeah, I was always behind the camera. like. When we first, when you decided you wanted to get into modeling, like that's yeah. when I was getting into like photography and like videography and, you know, I would like go out and we'd take pictures and stuff, but I'd never take pictures for myself. Yeah. So then. And he's too good looking. I mean, look at him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it, it really just changed everything. And I mean, it, it's just a blessing to wake up when you want and then work when you want, you know, Yeah. but also putting the hours and time in. Yeah. yeah. It's a process. You know? yeah, Does it happen sure. overnight? <laughs> are you still doing like, um, so you, are you in school still or you, you um, stopped No, I, I stopped school. So I was originally going for physical therapy while I was playing football. Yeah, I remember that, yeah, yeah. Switched it up and I was like, all right, I, I want to be a firefighter. So I got my EMT certification. I still kind of do. I mean, you, Dude, you get those two days you're dude, on. And you know, a firefighter- still that, work. No, bro, if you made a fight, you can, okay, vision, right? You make a piece called hose, right? <laughs> on on OnlyFans, on only right? It's Jeff, you know, he's in the burning building, you know, he's like, help, help. And then and you just walk in, you know, you pull out your hose. I, it's just, just an idea, something to think about, you know? Yeah, yeah giving you some idea. creative inspiration there. Yeah, yeah. That's a good idea. How, wait, so you are a fire, you certified for, for a fire? Um, well, can, can you save me? I'm EMT I'm, certified, but I mean, what, what it's nothing the crazy. What mean, like? I know DMT. <laughs> What's EMT? <laughs> DMT. Um, basically, um, you need like your EMT certification uh, to to get a job to work on like an ambulance or like oh, a, be a first you. responder. Yeah, yeah. But I also have to take another test um, called National Registry. Uh -huh. That's like the main test where you can actually get a job. Cool. Dope. And then the process behind actually becoming a firefighter is actually really tough. Yeah. Um, yeah. I've always, because I have this bromance calendar of this calendar. Can you grab one real quick? It's right on the, over there, right? So I make this calendar every year where it's like bromance. I, I want to, oh, we should, someone we mentioned should do that. a photo shoot uh, next <laughs> time. So it's like a calendar, like 12 months of bromance. And my, one of the goals was always to have a month with a bunch of firefighters, you know? <laughs> That'd be so funny for the calendar. So that's like, that's Kevin. We recreated the jackass photo right here. So there's just 12 months with all my friends. Do you know Zach? Yeah, of course. So Zach is in there. That's Jeff. You know, that's my friend here. We have a bunch of like, These you know, epic. right? We have some fun. This is Coachella and shit, you know, so we get some. Yeah. So yeah, we should do photos soon, like with, you know, you guys as firefighters. I think that'd be the vibe. These are all the photos in one, yeah, in one thing. Yeah. yeah. So then, uh, so do you think you'll ever go with social media right now? Is that your full-time job, like mainly? Yeah. So basically it's my full-time job right now. Um, I'm really into fitness too. So yeah. I kind of like try and pick a mixture of what I want to do. I'm kind of in a midlife crisis. I love midlife <laughs> but, crisis. You know, I love we're, as long as you're going up, I, I feel like as long as you're always taking a step forward and. Yeah. You learn. I mean, that's the thing about the experience, right? It's not like people are so obsessed about like, you know, especially the traditionally, right? Also, I grew up in Germany. So there was a lot of pressure of like, okay, you got to become a German engineer. Engineer, you have to study engineering, you know, and work for BMW. And I don't know, it's just like that timeline is just so stupid because like, dude, I can take a year off and I did modeling, right? And I learned so much about myself that got me here on this fucking couch, That's you know, <laughs> interviewing people about so, so you were their gonna, penis size. You were going to be a German engineer and then you yeah. decided one year to I like, was studying, I was going to, I was, because there's the pressure, I did pretty well in school. So there was like the pressure of like, sure, the expectations in Germany, because the thing that's glorified in Germany, that's the difference between Germany and the US, I feel like. In the US, it's very celebrated to be an entrepreneur, yeah, to, do, right. to, to do entertainment, right? It's like what the US is known for is entertainment, entrepreneurship. Like people like Steve Jobs are kind of glorified. Whereas in Germany, it's very, um, it's very, uh, people look at it in a positive way when you do something like you are an engineer and it's a very respectable position, like working your way up, being a production manager at BMW. That's the goal. So Dang. going from that and then doing modeling was a kind of like a right turn, right? Yeah, what was, sure. was there any reaction like from your family or something you decided to, you know, stop doing like the, the traditional path with school and going into the social media thing, which is kind of new and hard for people to understand. So for me, my mom was like my biggest supporter ever, honestly. Um, 
when I like came to her and was like, Hey, like this girl told me I should like model. And, and she was like, Oh my gosh. Like, yeah, I mean, you should, you know, like, and at the time too, I was like, really, like, <laughs> she was like, you should, you know, my mom told me, <laughs> Yeah, my, <mom's> like, <laughs> my mom told me in Germany, she was like, uh, huh? Modeling do <laughs> <laughs> right. It's like, which means like, huh, mom, yeah. <laughs> truly my mom is, this is a German mom, right? She was not mm. as supportive, but she got her on Yeah, She was yeah, like, hey, you look just like your cousin Franz, you know? <laughs> it's just like, yeah. But she saw it in you. That was great. So she was supportive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's a funny story. Me and my mom actually moved out here when I was 17. She came with me to like, you know, try to support me. Dope. Like, it really just like, you know, helped me like just have any opportunity at all. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, and even like when I like, you know, did modeling, went to Asia, came back, all this stuff. And then I saw like a bunch of people like making OnlyFans. And my mom was like, you should, you should do it. Like, why don't you do it? And at the <laughs> no, time, but I was, you you out, she was like, <laughs> yeah, at the time I was like, well, you know, I, I don't know. I just, I, right now I just don't want to. And she was like, well, I think you're missing out. It's, I, I love, love that. I love huh? it. When was this? This was like two years ago. Okay. My mom was like, yeah, like she was like, you know, I think, you know, you, you have an opportunity and if I was in your shoes, I would fucking take it, you know? Yeah. And I was like, and now looking back, yeah, no, my mom was definitely one of my biggest supporters and, and, you know, just really like any, any step that I took, she was right behind me all the I way. I love that. Shout Same out to Mrs. Cushman. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Let's yes. go. Let's go. That's amazing. No, yeah. And, and she's been like, you know. She's literally like my second mom for yeah. sure. Yeah. I, yeah she, I grew up in that household all through high school. Like, Oh, amazing. Yeah. yeah. Fuck so, yeah. So yeah. Um, but the rest of my family took it, um, as just. It, it was different, you know. Um, I would say no one ever in my family had been like, you know, quote unquote, like successful or I don't know, like, and once I, you know, started to like break through the like matrix or you know, whatever, yeah. started to feel like, wow, you know, with, with, yeah. with, with OF, I felt like I actually like, you know, this is something that I could take a long way and like take it seriously. Um yeah, it just became like a full time job, full time. I mean, my 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 aunts and uncles and everyone always make jokes like, "Oh, you're naked and all that stuff," but they're, yeah. all, they're, they're always just messing with me. And like, honestly, it's one of the biggest uh, blessings. I'm super thankful for having a supportive family because I think it's really important. Fuck yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't imagine, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And does your family are supportive of you being also the side chick and you having like little bromance, you know? And like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah for yeah. sure. My mom specifically uh, as well. I mean. She was just like, you know, why it's doing all this and that? Why don't you go do it with him? And I love I mean, what's up with Arizona. Yeah. People are so supportive, yeah, you know? know? They're like, hey, listen, John, <laughs> you're missing out, man. There's money on the street. You're leaving. Go man. show that pee pee. It's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, my well, my dad's actually the opposite. I mean, <laughs> your he, dad was like, you know, he was I like, know what you're working yeah, with, brother. Half and half. You need he's, to see people need to see that yeah. thing. <laughs> he's more like the traditional route, and yeah. it's funny because we were actually just talking about this last night. Um, we have this little tradition that we do. Every time we come into LA, we late at night, we get some drinks and then we just go, uh, drive through the Hills and oh, yeah. kind of use it as like a motivation. And we just talk about whatever's going on, but we were talking about the traditional route and how things have like changed over sure. the past I couple mean, the generations. Traditional route is also like change. You know what I mean? Yeah. For sure. Like, for sure. And I feel like in a, like my, maybe in 10 years, the traditional route will be more along the lines of what we're doing. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 yeah for sure. It's kind of interesting how it's that is yeah, shifting. What do you think you will be doing if you didn't do OnlyFans right now? I think I would probably be uh, dead. Yeah, I'd probably be an engineer. On the street. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, like when I was like, you know, considering going. Love, some people like, some people say like, uh, I, t I talked to a porn structurist, Dan, he was like, if I didn't do porn, I was I would be dead. You know, and you're like, I'd be thriving. I'd have three hours, I'd be an engineer. <laughs> so I think if I didn't do uh, OnlyFans, I would definitely do, well, yeah, like going into, you know, graduating high school and going into college, um, you know, I wanted to be an engineer. I mean, I wanted to go for engineering yeah. or like, you know, create a business. Um, I was also, I was always very like, like in high school, I had my own clothing brand and I just like always wanted, yeah. yeah, I was always entrepreneur. So like I would do you know, engineering or real estate or, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know, you know, I guess we'll never know because. Sure, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, but yeah, I don't know about what were your answers. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> I don't yeah, know, you just, do this therapist, right? You like sport, whatever. You be a professional football. You be an NFL <laughs> anything, player. Anything, <laughs> yeah, anything with fitness too. Like, yeah. Oh, for sure. I've always wanted to. I mean, 
I still have the opportunity to, um, yeah, for I sure. just want to like- start some sort of branding as far as fitness goes, whether it's a clothing line or yeah. certain like workout programs to do. Yeah. I mean, you can still do those things. Inspire people and help yeah. people. Do you think that like, okay, so you did modeling more traditionally, right? Yeah. Do you think that now like only fans are having done only fans, you know, having your wiener out there, do you think they would now stop you from pursuing some stuff in modeling? Cause I'm like out of the industry, oh, right? For sure. Yeah. yeah. I think like a, a lot of models, uh, they kind of had to make the decision in terms okay. of like which, which path you want to go down. And I had to make that decision because for me, like being a little shorter and like, not like, you know, hitting all the requirements for like, uh, you know, you know, model. Yeah. Um, I just had to like really like look myself in the mirror and be like, do I really want to chase this like crazy, like, you know, there's just for the sliver yeah. of a hope that I could get like, sure, man. It's also, even then it's not that well paid and it's also a short, shorter, like short, li- short yeah. shelf life. Right. I felt like it was, you it, don't have the height, but you have the length. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was, <laughs> yeah. I learned that. No, yeah. <laughs> uh, but no, I mean, um, I still, you know, like, um, I still will model if, if I like, um, get, um, you know, castings or sure, yeah. if I get like, you know, direct bookings or whatever, obviously for sure, I'll still model. Um, I still do like take it as like an opportunity. I still do try to like take really good care of my face and yeah, like, yeah. um, but, but yeah, no, for sure. Um, what's well, just traditional modeling. The incentive financially is just not on the same level no. as only fans at all. Like how, how much, can you give me ballpark number? How much money are you making? Like, is it like, what, what were we talking? You, you bought a house, right? I so know, like, you, you can say a number and I'll say lower or higher. Uh, okay. Uh, 10 grand a month. Higher. 20 grand a month. <laughs> <laughs> like that evil Let's go. Okay. Well, so you're doing well, right? Yeah. yeah no, stuff, it's yeah, super good, amazing. Good, yeah. good, good, good. A hundred K a month. <laughs> Damn, all right, all right, let's go. Okay. All right, good for you, good for you. Thanks, man. Well, then it's hard, but okay, if somebody if somebody if somebody now came up to you and was like, hey, I'm gonna pay you like modeling rate, typical modeling rate. It's like what I did, like Bloomingdale's or some e-commerce or something, right? They would pay like a grand a day. Oh, would you sure. take that job? Yeah, for sure. Because for real, even though you make like more money a day just from social media. Well, yeah, day? Be- yeah, because if I can like uh take it as like because I still like have I had a lot of goals in modeling and I and I didn't you know, hit them. So if a good brand like Bloomingdale's or fashion over or anything were to come to me, I would definitely like, I would try to take advantage of the opportunity still. Yeah. Even if it's like, cause uh, again, like, you know, I'm super happy with the, like the money, but I'm not, I'm just, I'm not all just about the money. I just want to like experience that, you know, I've sure, never yeah, experienced yeah, like about, yeah. being able to go to fashion Nova and meet all the people there or meet or go to Bloomingdale's and meet all the yeah. people like would be, it's fun. More valuable to me. Yeah. yeah. It can be fun. Jeff just did a job. I got Jeff a modeling job. I okay. did. Because they, okay, Ow. this is kind of funny. <laughs> so my agent through a couple of people, I got this uh, contact for a brand. I'm not going to say the name, but they do like underwear. That's like very sexy underwear, right? Ooh. And I was like, I don't even show that much on OnlyFans. You know, it was literally like fully, like ah. it was pretty much see through, <laughs> right? Like some of the stuff, I don't know if it's the same brand we're talking about, but like one of the brands I saw was like straight up like see through. Like I could see the guy was modeling the underwear in the in the campaign thing. Like I have a very good understanding of what his penis looks like. You know what I mean? And there was a, there was a, a a catalog online. So Jeff did that job. It was like you know, it was like a couple hundred. You know, it was like it was good money for for a day, but you know. Yeah, it wasn't that risque. I would no, say. I mean there was some like kind of see through, but when you look at it, you just can't really tell. It's just like kind of the imprint. Okay. You just know. like the VPL. So I just jerk off yeah. the back a little bit, you know, coming <laughs> yeah. with that rock hard. For sure. They, t- they told you, they were like, hey, Jeff, can we like live a little more? <laughs> like, no, it was weird. <laughs> no, I'd have to show you like, the weird pouch right there. I didn't like that. Wait, no, what was the brand called? Because I did a brand that was. Um, was it International Jock? I don't think it was, but they came to Arizona and I think they paid me around $1,000 a day. Okay. For, yeah. So, you know, and. Again, it was like, it was going to be, but it was going to be like a two, three, like four hour thing. So I yeah. was like, I'm, I'm down, you know, for sure. Yeah. That's gonna sure be- not, I mean, it's great money if you think about that. It's too. great like, money. Think, like looking at it, yeah. I think, I'm oh, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, but. No, I'm good. I think, you know, anything above like, even for me, like I would only need like three, four, you know, five grand to, to live comfortably, you know? So I'm thinking like, if you make above 10 Five grand to live comfortably, let's move to Arizona guys. Let's do that. How about that? Yo, you know how much money I need every month to survive in LA? I did the math with yeah. everything I'm doing. I mean, mind you, I'm also paying a lot of people to like edit videos and stuff like that. 
But like my break even right now with investments and what I have 401k, all that stuff is about 25k a month. Now is that living below your means too? What's up? Is that like living below your means? No, that's living like like with traveling, with going to New York for stand-up shows. Of course I could live on less, 100%. But LA is expensive, right? I eat good food. I eat like, you know, I don't, that's like me not, not balling. I don't party. I don't like do crazy. I don't, it's not me buying like, you know, some crazy designer clothes or anything like that. But it's just me like living my normal life here, my life so that I have that I'm, you know, want to keep. Yeah. Um, which yeah. is fucking crazy if you think about yeah, that. Yeah. It's fucking nuts. Well, because like, yeah, yeah. F- like for me, like I, I think like, I mean, all I have is like my mortgage and then I have no car payment and I mean, the gym payment. I mean. <laughs> 20 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, honestly, yeah, like 20 bucks. I mean, so yeah, I mean, I could live off of like very little, which is nice. It's a very like, I love that feeling of like not having so many bills, but it's, it's different if you're like, investing in certain things and you have people that you have to pay that work for you. Sure, yeah. I understand that a hundred percent. Like, it's just like, yeah, if I were to like have to live off like the minimum, that would be my min- yeah. uh, absolute bottom. Yeah. So, so yeah, I mean, the bottom. but I was going to just say like anything, I think anything about like 10 is like, you know, you're doing really well for yourself. So yeah, for sure. Proud. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's why the thing is like with modeling, if you do a job now and the thing is with modeling, I did a job recently, which paid pretty well. It was like a three grand job for like a, a thing. A day? A day. Yeah. That's it was a, it was a better job for sure. But like some of these jobs, the thing you don't, take into consideration is like the time that goes into it. It's not just the seven hours on set, by the way, th- like I got to set call time was like at seven 30 and the, f- I got makeup done at like noon and I shot <laughs> yeah. at like three. Yeah. It's literally, but I call me and it's seven It's just always how it works. And that's a little annoying. Yeah. But then also all the castings you go to the time that goes into yeah. getting to the point where you actually get booked. If I take that time and the distraction and I love putting that into something that actually grows for me, like my yeah. YouTube channel or something like that, you know, that like builds something as opposed to, or a skill exactly. as opposed to, that's why, but I love the experience with Molly that I had for sure. Yeah. Same. And then you told me that you were going to go to, um, cause we, we just, so we were, we were going to the Philippines. Yeah. We might already be in the Philippines when you're watching this guys, we're leaving January <laughs> 7th. We're going to be in the Philippines. That's lit. So, um, are you, you said you model or are you going to model again in the Philippines or something or in Asia? So yeah, uh, I plan on, um, I have the contract. I just haven't signed it yet, but um, it's going to be January. I'm planning now to like January 25th to go to Singapore for three months. So Dope. Hey, I did Singapore for three months. How fucking was yeah, it? Bro? Holy with fuck. mannequin. Was it insane? I loved it so much. Okay. Yeah. It was fucking amazing. So Singapore was one of these crazy countries where like you have, if you're a model in Singapore, by the way, you are, it's so weird because you are kind of like, it felt kind of weird because you kind of, treated like royalty a little bit okay yeah. like there's all these clubs and singapore's a very wealthy place obviously right they have yeah. the best hotels and there was this place called sentosa beach where if you're a model you have a comp card you just show it to them you get in for free you get free food free everything you just have a separate section just models that play volleyball and shit and um <laughs> that's so epic <laughs> and all the cl- i mean it's a pretty like you'll have you'll have a good time there uh, for me singapore out of all the places i've modeled at um, the most money I've ever made. By the way, check out the hydration, this guy. Like, hydration is definitely <laughs> crazy. Oh, he brings in. He br- I offered him, I offered him like, I have the little Perrier bottles here, by the way, sponsored by no. uh, And he comes in with a fucking gallon of water. Hydration is important. Yeah. 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 No, that's funny because that goes way, way back, actually. Oh, we yeah. used to get yelled at so much in high school by our coaches if we didn't have a gallon on us. Yeah. If we were walking around going from class to class and we didn't have a gallon of water on us, I mean, we were in trouble. It was for real. We were scared of our coaches. I mean, I love that. Well, also too, we wanted to because I noticed it was huge. Like, if I didn't have a gallon or at least a liter or something on me, and I wasn't constantly drinking water, when it came time to go, you know, on Friday night, you know, I just wasn't as prepared, and yeah, it sucked. So yeah, it just stuck with us through the Let's years. Go. So usually gallon Guys, a day. drink water. Take that home, kids. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. If, there's, if, if, there's, any, if, there's if there's anything one, you take away. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> drink more water. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, so, but, but with that, like Singapore, like the your main goal with that would be not to make money primarily, but just for the experience and do more modeling. Oh, for sure. Yeah. yeah. I just want to travel. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just want to travel. That's the best, man. Yeah. <laughs> I miss that. So I miss that. Because like, if you, can, if you can travel with modeling for a purpose, the cool thing is traveling with modeling, the beautiful thing about that is that wherever you go, I went to Korea, Singapore, Philippines, uh, Milan, London, wherever I went, 
I always had a network of people. Yeah. So it's almost like you already have a family and context there because you get there, you have other models, you have photographers you shoot with, you meet people there, stylists, agents, and then you go to fashion week and you have already this. If you went to Singapore by yourself, you get a hotel, what are you going to do? You're going to do touristy things. That's, yeah. But like you did instantly connected with the culture, yeah. which is fucking cool. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. No, that was the most amazing. Like that's why I fell in love with like Philippines and like yeah, fell in yeah. love with Bangkok is because it was like when I literally, the second I arrived, like I got my comp cards, I got all my stuff. I was greeted by the agency. I was greeted by other models. Like I felt like it, it wasn't as hard for me to like um, get you know, like feel like so uncomfortable there, I guess like a huge culture shock, but at the same time, like being able to experience it with different models, like you already have like that, like, you know, same connection in terms of like, you guys are from totally different parts of the world and just like happen to be in Philippines at the same time and yeah. going to the same castings and just modeling, you know, it was just, it, it was never like, uh, modeling was never about, yeah, the money was more just, man, the traveling was just amazing for me. I was making nothing out there in the Philippines, nothing. But this was going to ask you. Yeah. So you did jobs there too. Like what kind of jobs do you do in the Philippines? I can't even remember. I, I think... want to do Jollibee commercial, you know, Jollibee. Oh, of course. Yeah. Yeah. I want to, I want to be the B or I want to be in <laughs> one of those commercials. Do you know Jollibee? <laughs> no. It's a fast food oh. brand. It's a fast food chain in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. They have the weird, by the way, the food combos are fucking it's weird. So weird dude. They have pizza and then they have pasta with rice <laughs> and chicken it's the strangest combination also, but, eat, but it sounds yeah, like yeah, no, but it's, it's the is strange. i like it it's like you know it's like it's so <laughs> different yeah yeah <laughs> yeah but um so what okay. job was it like how much does a job pay if you did like a job say like um whatever like a catalog thing or like a runway show or something so i think i remember the biggest job that i ever did there was like i think it was Zalora, right that was mm -hmm. like their like yeah. zara yeah, yeah i did a campaign for them and that was like kind of my biggest job there. And got I think the 30. most I ever got paid was like thirty to forty thousand. So six hundred, seven hundred dollars. Yeah, for like yeah. two, three days. Or, which, two, three days. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Shooting no, for but, a month. But out there in Philippines, bro. If you're making no, a couple sure. hundred yeah, yeah, yeah. a day, fuck, yeah. you're like rich. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> like, crazy. I, Dude, so now imagine with your OnlyFans money, you're going to buy the country, man. You're going to show up like <laughs> just swinging big balls. You know what I mean? I'm here to buy this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would say like it's crazy, man. Like um, in terms of just like making money, it's still nothing's changed. I'm still very like. I still like, I never feel like I have that much, I guess. I'm, I'm, I guess I'm like scared to, you know, feeling like, because especially when I first moved here to LA, yeah. I was super broke, like going from couch to couch. And I guess I'm just like so scared of like that happening to me again that I'd like, um, I'm just super like frugal and I just like save everything. Yeah. Like everything. Not everything, but I mean, I save. What do you do with your money? 90. Though? Huh? What do you do with your money? Like Saving no cocaine invested. bitches, nothing for you. Just <laughs> no. like straight up savings account. Yeah. Yeah. Literally like. If How about I, crypto? Yeah. Well, I mean, I have some, like I yeah. have, I'm not heavily a crypto investor, but I have like Ethereum and like, that's basically it. Cause that's the only one that like kind of made sense to me that I actually was like, I can get behind this. Yeah. Definitely. Um, agree with you a little bit. Yeah, yeah. And then <laughs> um, I'm just like super, super heavily invested in like. Um, Tesla and Apple and Amazon, just like things that I actually believe in. So, and I invest like heavily in those, but then other than that, I mean, it just goes straight to the savings and like, that's it. Actually, no, one dumbass thing that I did do was I started making money and then I started getting into cars. <laughs> so I bought a twin turbo R8 cash. So 165 grand left my account wow. at one time. You bought a car, 165k grand cash? Out of my account. You were doing so good. I you know. were doing so good like 30 <laughs> seconds ago. You were like, what a responsible 23 year old, you know? And then you were like, actually, this one thing I did one time, I dropped 165k like, I forgot on a car. <laughs> no, I was going to bring it up. Business <laughs> expense. Business is not a write off either, right? You can't write oh, that shit off. No, no. no. <laughs> but I am selling it, so. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> it is for sale. Like I if you want to buy, contact <laughs> Wyatt Cushman <laughs> at wyattcushman.com. That's wild. Yeah. yeah. No, but yeah, it's for sale now. So, I mean, it's one of those things where it did teach me though. Like now, I like once I bought it and I had it for a while and it was amazing. I loved it. I mean, and we shared some amazing. Like, it's super fast, it super rips. fun. Like <laughs> also an rips. another thing about cars. Like uh, what I learned is the next car that I get, I feel like it's really like. 
I, I can't say an investment, obviously, because I'm not going to say buying a supercar is a smart idea, but it allows you access to high net worth individuals, I would say. Like mm. when I bought the car and I started to go to car shows and I started to meet other people with supercars, it just allows you access and allows you to have conversations. Such a network effect for sure. Yeah. yeah. And especially interesting. Yeah. yeah. Same with like, like, like golfing. If you go golfing, sometimes oh, you'll just meet like. Yeah. Trump. Yeah, you know, <laughs> fucking A, you know, for real. Yeah, but no, actually, Arizona's uh, have some of the best. I can't golf, see golf Trump courses. actually golf. By the <laughs> way, sure. I just thought about this. I can't see Trump swinging. I've he, never seen Trump not, not in the suit. Yeah, he's, he's got a good bad. swing. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah we golf. I don't know. Time. I just can't see it. I just can't. You know, <laughs> it's so interesting. Yeah. But yeah, he owns the place, but I can't, you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah literally. Yeah, we've gotten into golf uh, a lot more recently, actually. You yeah. guys are so yeah. funny. I've been, I've been golfing. I've been golfing a lot. Yeah, <laughs> that's like that's that's another thing that I do. Yeah, we do like. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. If I'm you know, not working, then I'm golfing. <laughs> I love it. You know, people would expect you guys because you guys live in a frat house, essentially in in Arizona, which is like the part. I thought you guys were partying, you know, like Never. cocaine, you know, hookers, all this stuff, and you go like, you no, know, no, I go to car shows and golf. Too. To meet high net worth individuals. I'm like, okay, fine. <laughs> fine, love it. I love it. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we're super into cars, gaming, um, golf. And you're into yeah. anime, right? Anime, right? I I you, just am getting into it, but I am I now. was so surprised when I heard that, you know? Yeah. I didn't know you were also a virgin. Yeah. How long have you been a virgin for? Well, my whole life. No. <laughs> <laughs> nice, no, nice, nice. No, but um, if I were to recommend one anime to everyone who's watching who no, has Riley not seen life, anime, yeah. I don't know. Trust me, I was like, I was like, dude, I'm not an anime person. Like, I just can't get into it. It's just, yeah. I just can't connect. With, but Attack on Titan was changed my life. Just how Mario Adrian should it, change Honestly, John's I'm not going <laughs> to. Yeah, exactly. Very similar. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to say it changed my life, but it was very like, I don't know, like, you know, I don't know. I know you've seen it and it's, it was yeah, like. You, were, we, with, you lost all of us except for Riley. Right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're, on, you're on your own. <laughs> you're on your own, bro. <laughs> for, for me, it was like so weird when with like with, with Aaron Jaeger, obviously the main character. <laughs> okay, we're good. I, 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 I connected with him and I was just like. I was just like, man, like he's so courageous, like so just getting after it, like so badass, like just will not like stand down from anyone would like, you know, is fighting for something. And, and it sounds corny, but it was just like, it really like connected with me. And I was like, and inspired damn. you also fight for something. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I was like, damn, I need it was to like, fucking. I, I need that 165K <laughs> supercar. <laughs> yeah, I'm fighting yeah. for something, you know, vigorously with my no, dick. Right. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. I mean, yeah, like honestly anime was it's pretty sick let's go yeah, let's they do go. a great job too uh with the characters and really portraying like their life and making you su feel super connected to them you feel way I'm more connected to to you're like almost really in their head and, <laughs> and what they're thinking i just no. have a lot of stereotypes about it you know because i see riley and all the people he hangs out with and i just <laughs> don't want to be like them <laughs> i'm kidding i'm totally joking i'm totally joking no i fuck i i watched like uh i just think i i just it's so time consuming. It's just like, I'm afraid that I'm actually going to get into it and it's going to be very it's time consuming. A, you oh, to, you will. You, you will. You will. <laughs> I, I watched Dragon Ball. I'd watch, I mean, I Dragon Ball is a very common thing I watched when I was growing up and I watched uh, One Piece. Uh, the one with my, it's like uh, the Japanese, the Japanese one. <laughs> I guess all of them are, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's I, like the one with Monkey D. Ruffy with the long arms and shit. Like they eat, it's cool. It's mm. dope. I like, I like that one. But there's like, how many episodes does One Piece have? A thousand. 1100 episodes wow. like in what world dude i'm so busy i literally don't even watch television i'm so busy with everything i'm because yeah. i'm doing like all my shit with youtube and stuff and prepping stuff and coming up with these shooting podcasts editing whatever and then writing stand-up and then at night i'm performing stand-up most like you know now more and more so that's why i'm even that kind of i love it but i'm almost kind of sad because now i have this girlfriend lane Right? She has a dog. Lame. <laughs> no, I love it. I love it. But like the freedom of just, usually I would go to Asia. Now we're going to the Philippines. I would just be able to be there for like three months. Yeah. And now so I kind of, you, kinda, you are now going I have for three to, months. He's no, I'm down. not. I'm He's not. I'm going for like maybe two and a half weeks because I got to come back for stand up shows. Uh, and my girlfriend's here. And like, you know, it's all like, yeah. So like it feels, but I, it's, it's, it's just a trade off, you know? Yeah. Because no, I'm spending I, so much money here already on just this apartment, everything, and you know. I, I feel that. I feel that. I felt like when I was like that young, just traveling, like it was just. Now looking back on it, it was just one of the best, like 
just not having like I guess as much responsibility as well. Yeah. yeah. Like and just being able to go somewhere for three months and for just sure. like it's the just best live man. it, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean I mean, hopefully but, I can do it again. And yeah. are you gonna live in a model apartment in Singapore? Do you no, know? No, that's it. so that's the thing, is they they said they'll cover my flight and you know, I'll start working with them mm -hmm. like right away. Yeah. The good thing about the management um that I'm or the agency that I'm going with, um Is it Avenue? Avenue, yeah. yeah. Is yeah. they only have like two guys there at a time i think cool which is really nice though because then they're really pushing the two guys hard yeah. you know um so i'm excited I, I hope i'm busy i hope i get a great experience like, i can see you do well there thank you maybe you have to like get a little skinnier though <laughs> i might yeah because that's whatever what you say no no i'm not saying i'm saying <laughs> you have to lose to muscle <laughs> no it's like true but like modeling dude i had to no, lose I, like yeah. around the chest and stuff you have to fit into these like especially in asia mm -hmm. like imagine how this is smaller the clothing yeah. You know, so you have to like fit the clothes. It's like no matter how good you look, like if you don't fit the clothing, what are they going to do with you? You know, yeah. like we can't worry. It. No, so for um, sure. if it looks like too like tiny on you, which, you know, that's one thing you might want to have to do. That's also one thing I didn't like about modeling is the fact that I had to like. Seriously. You know. Yeah. Fit into what they wanted me to look like as opposed to just, you know. Well, that was the thing, too, is like, you know, being like shorter they were they, they were definitely like you need to be skinny. You need to look as tall as possible. And I was mm. like. I mean, I was down for it because at the time I was just like, yeah, I'll do anything for the opportunity. Yeah. I just like, I'm not even supposed to be a model. I'm not even that tall. Like I, I'm, I just would just like, I'll do anything for the opportunity. Yeah. I'm going to get skinnier. Anything. I'm going to get skinnier. Yeah. <laughs> it's true, uh, man. I mean, if somebody yeah. whipped their dicks out and was like, Hey, we're going to, we're going to give you this magazine cover, but you know, you're just going to have to, you know, <laughs> when you got desperate, it's just hard to Whoa. say no. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah man. but i think it's happening less hopefully yeah yeah no hopefully but but yeah i was always into fitness so it was super hard for me to like want to look super skinny yeah i wanted to look that's like good. but that's good, cool that you go in there now like how do you have your own thing going on so you're not as desperate and also yeah i think it helps you with when i was modeling on too i was financially especially when i was in new york there was the longest i was in new york i was financially dependent on modeling so much yeah so i was desperate I so said, fuck bro like the New York's such yeah. an expensive place. So like, I would be like, literally the pressure of booking a job was so high. Mm. So I would almost go into these castings for fashion week like this with, is with that pressure. Dead. And once I didn't rely on it, I started doing YouTube. I was doing my own thing and modeling became more of a side thing. Started to I would, more. Dude, for real. I would go into the audition in the casting room. I would just be like, yo, what's up, bitch? No, I'm kidding. But like, I would just be much more chill about it. And I think that energy red is less desperate and stuff. And then I book more. So, yeah. For sure. For yeah. sure. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. So so how long were you, not, wait. No, you what's up? I was going to say, how long were you in New York, New York for? Dude, I was modeling. So when I first started modeling was like when I was 18, 19. Probably three years I was in New York. But like on and off. <laughs> I wasn't in New York three years at the time. I was mm. in New York like. Twice a year, like six months, maybe six months out of the year is New York, but like for like two, three years, mainly New York. So like Cause New York, it, I would work the most. Yeah. I yeah. would go like, um, usually yeah. I would go, uh, up until August when everything shuts down, I would do the summer fashion week, like May to like maybe August. And then again, like uh, summer, like in, in the winter fashion week, like January to like, you know, well, and like, or something, yeah. but a lot of times, like a lot of the shows, like, so you were you, like, how were they paying you the shows? Nothing. The shows would not pay nothing, right? I mean, I yeah, mean, a little bit, but, but like I did some shows in New York. So I did one show for Banana Republic that was like the uh, some of the bigger brands, right? They pay better. Sweet. But even that, man, it's like for, <laughs> for a show, you got to like go to a casting, Dude, wait yeah. in line. They have to try different stuff on you. Sometimes you go to a, re to a, to a call a callback, you go to another casting. So one time I had a fitting after that and they didn't book me. So I went to fucking yeah. Soho three times from Brooklyn, oh my gosh. you know? to not get the job. And then if you get the job, you have to show up there for like makeup, go to another fitting the day before. It's fucking crazy. So that's why like, you know, even I made like maybe that the bit, the better ones in New York, maybe you make like $750 or something like that, I remember. Yeah. But that's if you think about lot, it, though, but really that's for a full day of being at that fucking show with makeup and everything. And then also going to the casting, the casting crazy. and all the jobs, you have to almost counter it in a, a way in all the jobs you did not get because you went to the castings to get that one, right? So I go to like 20 castings to book one job. Literally. The time, if you break it, it sounds great, right? You do modeling, you run with for $750, not bad. But if you count it all, all the time and effort it takes, really? taking digitals, taking photographs for a portfolio to actually get those jobs, if you break it down to an hourly wage, oh my God, it's, it's not looking that good. It's not looking yeah. that good, to be honest. Yeah. yeah, you'd be better off in an office probably. 
but you it's don't not as fun. It. It's not as fun. Exactly. It's not as fun. That's the thing. Yeah. I've only yeah. went to New York one time and it was a very crazy experience for me. It was actually one of the coolest modeling experiences for me though. Cause uh, I remember I was in Miami and it was like, I, I literally will never forget. It was like coming to the end of the day and my, my agent had called me. She was like, why Calvin Klein, like, is interested in you and they want to fly you out tomorrow morning. And I was just like, dope. Okay. Like I'm down, you know, I'll do that. I'll walk there for Calvin Klein. Like <laughs> I'll get there. <laughs> so anyways, um, I wake up fucking dust dawn, like still hella tired. Um, get on the plane, get on the Metro, like get to the casting. And I knew it was legit because when I went to the casting, it was me and like, six other dudes and these dudes were just looking like supermodels i actually knew some of them just from like them being so yeah big you know big yeah. models yeah and i was like holy fuck this is actually nuts um and then i remember we were like all in robes and we were all just like hella talking and we were there like all day I mean, yeah. <laughs> just hanging out in robes sipping <laughs> yeah. coffee like, we were playing there, bingo <laughs> we were there for hours and then finally just waiting or what yeah yeah just waiting so first when I first first got there I remember I couldn't find where it was I couldn't find the entrance finally someone came and got me and then right away they were like try these pants on try these underwear on like right away really fast yeah and I was like okay so I did and then he saw me and then he just they didn't say anything he was like okay change and then I was like okay and then I went to the back where everyone else was at and then we just like got into robes and just like hung out for like hours and then finally you go so under the robe you just have like a Calvin Klein underwear on yeah. and then you went into a room and there was like this huge table and there had to be like 20 people sitting there and you just go on top of this like little like step up and you just go take off the robe and I was like how's it going my name is Wyatt Cushman I'm from Glendale Arizona and I'm 20 years old or whatever and then they were like nice to meet you like can you just um like you know turn around and you know just that was basically it. <laughs> just look good <laughs> <laughs> yeah and then like they took like a few pictures and then that was it so i mean it was a great experience but uh, I, d I did not never heard from them again never, never heard from them but <laughs> it's, but even even my age, even, yeah. even my agent was like you know the fact that they flew you out and were that interested was was huge you know for and sure i was super like yeah i felt yeah. great about it but yeah yeah if i would have booked it i mean it would have been awesome you were coming it's like yeah i can see you actually there's a guy who did like the super bowl commercial once with like the because you i can see i can see you in calvin for sure totally. like that 100 yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> i can see that yeah it's Thank like that you do it like the vibe they're going for yeah. actually now not anymore because i was definitely going more f uh, like you know like diverse and stuff like that so you're fucked you're russian german <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's, not, it's not looking so hot i think asia you good yeah i think yeah. well I, i'm hopefully i'm gonna grow my hair back out all the way i think like long again yeah yeah I mean, I don't know. I always do that. Like, I feel like I've done it so many times now. Like, it'll go really long. And I'll just buzz it. Yeah. Just grow it back. Because it always, it seems to like grow back. Like, it grows back like, like better, like stronger hair, you know? Nice. Because I think it's it like is life, it, bro. It's I think, like, I, life, I, I, I don't know life, if that's a, life, like, life mows you down, you come back like stronger. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that's a real thing. I think when you buzz your hair, your hair, like, a lot of times grows back. Can we get fact um, check on that? Out that's of. why I never took steroids. I was always worried about losing my hair. Y'all got some good hair. Thank you. Thank you. Be careful. <laughs> you too. I, oh, wait, you I losing personally. About, oh, you losing about the uh, about the hair loss, loss, right? About the yeah. getting bald and bald. pimples, yeah. and yeah. I mean, dude, there's just so many cons to it. Like, I just there's just really no point for me to ever do it. I'm super happy with my body, and I think, dude, if like when I'm 28, 29, whatever, like at the peak, if I keep training, like I think I'll achieve my fitness That's your goals. Peak, 28, your peak? No, 32. 32 is your peak. I'm gonna peak at 32. I'm gonna be an absolute alpha. <laughs> wow. right. I'm just kidding. Wow. No, I mean I feel wow. like you know, thirty two like an absolute well, alpha. What's what body. do you think an alpha what's the definition of alpha? We just had this conversation by the way. Oh, what man. what's an alpha in your mind? Hey question. Just ask your friend. <clears throat> do you think I'm an alpha? Yeah. See? See Jeffy said it was an alpha. I said you were an alpha. Alpha. Said it was an alpha. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, bro. I feel Appreciate like it. I don't know. I don't know the exact definition, to be honest. What What's your guys? What did you guys come to the conclusion? Of, like, what is an alpha? Somebody who doesn't step down and lives life on his own terms. It's not about like how you look. It's about like what you do. So you don't have to be. <laughs> <laughs> so like you don't have to be single. You have to be single. You have to be single to be like 
uh, like no, alpha, or, or, or the not, sigma, alpha sigma, <laughs> sigma sigma male. Like, how do you definitely like look at someone and say that's a sigma like male? Dude, I'm I lost you on that one. I gotta be honest with you. What's well, a you, sigma male? What's it? No yeah, sigma. How would you define? Sigma? I know it's another what Greek l- letter, but I don't know what it means in that sense. It's like sigma is like what Andrew Tate would be. Oh yeah. It's above alpha. It's above alpha. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> Sigma man, Sigma. bro. I'm an omega man. Hey, I'm an omega Riley man. Hates Andrew Tate's but I know. But I do know that. <laughs> so a sigma is supposed to be defined. So an alpha is somebody who like leads the pack. Okay. Somebody who's like a leader or who people follow. Yeah. 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 Sigma exists outside the pack. <laughs> To just so By the way, I hate this. Wolf. I hate this. I'm saying this right now. I don't agree with this. This is not my, <laughs> this is not my vibe. But a sigma male is somebody who's like outside the pack, doesn't rely on anybody. A lone wolf. A lone wolf. Mm, yeah. yeah. Somebody who's not. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Somebody who's not dependent on a a, a woman. Or if they're mm. or if they're are there women sigma sigma. Can, okay. Question. They're, they're can, there, man. can there be a sigma gay man? Is that a thing? Like, if if a, if a, or no, an alpha gay man, you know, you don't rely on anybody, but because you said don't rely on any women, you know what I mean? But like Andrew Tate, like, is there any gay dudes that are just alphas, or are you just immediately I mean, not alpha? What's if you're gay? manlier than having sex with another man? That's true. That's true. I you think it definitely could be. That's yeah. more beta than having sex with a woman. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you know, I know. <laughs> Actually, true. Uh, think about you're it. Going for the you know fragile, <laughs> gen, you know, because you can't handle the, you know, yeah. you're scared of another gorilla. Think about it. But yeah, so sig- yeah. sigma is like the next tier. It's it's the new thing. Dang. You don't want to be an alpha anymore. You want to be a sigma. So I wonder sigma. what the next tier will be after that. What's Dude, that? Yeah. <laughs> what's next? The omegas. The Damn. omega males. <laughs> Damn, what's a, what's a sigma male though? Like Arnold Schwarzenegger. I just feel like, I don't know. I, I was actually, I think I was more of a sigma when I was younger. Because I was literally Dude, same, really. super in the, like I had no friends. No relationship. Nothing. I was just out there in the so world. So what was your like fucking you know? What was your like you know, getting my dick sucked by photographers <laughs> for modeling jobs to make a penny? <laughs> <laughs> it's a nerd. It's also okay. just a nerd, man. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you are leaving us? See you, bro. See you, bro. Wait, All right, we'll yeah, see. Yeah. You. We'll see you tomorrow. I'll hop in with a dictionary definition. Okay, dictionary definition is a sigma is a personality archetype of a dominant introvert who is self-reliant and independent their power doesn't come from a social hierarchy it rather comes from their being damn yeah, they're introvert though wow just, just like a lone says, wolf killer that doesn't need like killer. you know yeah that seems kind of sad though you know what i mean i'd rather be an alpha yeah honestly yeah. yeah is there something below beta like a super bottom you know what i mean like <laughs> i mean low beta in a wolf pack like a delta in a, <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> in, in a captive wolf pack omega is below beta omega but yeah that's like the i don't know if there's is that's omega like the guy male interviewed, thing? i interviewed a guy about like guessing sexualities and he goes like uh yeah i'm, I'm gay <laughs> full power full uh full bottom gay i was like that's okay i mean Sorry. this is omega in a positive way an omega male i don't know urban dictionary says it's bad Bro, but then an google omega says male it's good sounds <laughs> cool it does. an omega male this one, that sounds pretty epic this one cool says an omega male is is one who cares little about competition and refuses to follow the guidelines set by others they live life to the fullest in their way i feel like i'm an omega male by that <laughs> 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 i fucking love it we still have such good we're all amazing. omegas then we're all omegas then we're all omegas you, you, well, you, you care about com- competition a lot yeah, I think so. Sort of. Yeah, sort in of. In some ways. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Just about penis size and penis being size. alpha. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah. How big's your dick, by the way? How long is your schlong on right now? How are we talking? It's about like 12 inches. 12 inches. <laughs> solid, solid. All right. <laughs> <laughs> good for you. Good for you. It's solid. Good for you. Okay, good for you. Yeah. I'm, like, I'm like a three and a half. Sorry, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> he gave us the range. <laughs> he, confused, he, diffused, yes, he, <laughs> he diffused the whole argument. Yeah, just, yeah. Say, just say a number. I'll say like... Yeah. Um, I'll say like, <laughs> I'll say bigger or smaller. <laughs> Six big, inches. Bigger. No, that's probably about right to be yeah, honest. Okay. Not <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to see you and be like, I'll be some honesty. Oh my God. I'm not going to see you and be like, I have a yeah. massive gag. Yeah. Hey John, I was going to ask you, how do you okay. feel like about the social economic developments in the Middle East right now? Um, to be honest, I, uh, I haven't been really following world news That's all good. too much. How, how, how long is <laughs> your schlong dong currently? Um, as it hangs. <laughs> <laughs> currently? That was a great answer. That was good. That was good. I love the specifics. Yeah. 
at, um, a, at, a, at a like you know like 67 degrees humidity 40 percent on a tuesday it's like a i'm kidding fully maxed out fully, <laughs> fully maxed out capped out you know like fully like full blast right Best like day a six of your and a half or nice if it's like super hot summer, like Arizona, yeah. summer in oh, Arizona, you're six like and a half. Seven. In LA, you're a five. A six, a six, <laughs> and, a six and three quarters. In Russia, like, in your Russia, you're literally <laughs> hanging to the ground. You're so sweaty. And I love it. Yeah. So you're six and a half in Arizona, <laughs> Germany before. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's cold there right now. There we go. I'm gonna go to Germany in a sec. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna Honestly, I'm gonna, LA's been freaking cold. Holy fuck! Yeah. I've it been is, like a solid four around here. It was, <laughs> <laughs> it's cold for me. No, I know. Arizona yeah. is freaking warm. You're a Russian German. I was wondering. When we're walking outside, I was like, you know, yeah, yeah I think no. you're gonna be downgraded to an Omega male, or actually, you actually are Omega already. <laughs> so we're fucking like, yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, it's weird. I can't, I can't do cold. I won't do cold. I have to be like. That's why I think I love Arizona so much. Yeah. It's always warm and sunny. Yeah, so. it's always sunny in Arizona, like the show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, what's what's your relationship? Did you guys have partners, or are you just happy with your bromance right now? Do you have girlfriends or something? No, no, no. No, just romancing. Just romancing. Yeah. I love that. I love that. I love that. <laughs> right. yeah. But, but yeah, I mean, so yeah, we just want to travel and just continue to make content and like yeah. do that. I mean, Dude. it's been lit. No, you guys evolved. Definitely. I can see it. You know what I mean? From one year, I'm I'm going to see you one in another year from now. You know, you're going to fucking own a golf club and have two kids. I feel like, I feel like he's, making, he's making moves at this world, right? One more year from now, if I we love do another it. pod. Love it. And then last question is always ask the people to do this, right? If you want to, like, you pass on to this earth, right? Into, like, the matrix or something. What is the one thing you want to leave behind on this world? Because we talk about dicks a little bit, so I want to bring it back to something more substantial, you know? Yeah. One thing that I would want to leave behind, oh, man. I would say, like, the biggest thing that I've really had to learn is, like, that uh, definitely just, like, balance is really everything in terms of, like, I got super obsessed with just making money, and I totally lacked every other aspect of my life, like, my family, my relationships, my, like, just, just, just everything. I was so just focused on, like, just making money because I thought... Oh, well, if I have enough money, then, but I would say, yeah, the biggest thing that I've learned is, or the biggest thing that I would want to pass on is like, I would say mental health and like your relationships and family and friendships is, is definitely more important than money. I think, cause I would say like, you know, people are like, would you rather have a million friends or a million solid friends or a million dollars right now? And it's a like, I would rather. A million friends seems intense though. I would, I would, I would rather have a, a million like solid friends. Cause if you think about it, if they're solid friends. You just ask each one for 10 bucks and you had 10 million. I love that. I love that. Do a million friends like an odd number though. I wouldn't want to have a million friends. Can you no, imagine? Yeah. Dude? Like, no, yeah, it's a lot. Yeah. So I mean, I That's guess cool, if man. that was the answer. Yeah. Yeah. Just like yeah. balance and yeah. Like, I don't know. What nice. about you? <laughs> the biggest thing you want to be behind is yeah, that I would, I would definitely agree picture. with that, but um, maybe just like a legacy. Um, not to like say, oh, this guy does this, this does that, but um, a legacy in the sense of, wow, he lived a very happy, fulfilling life. Like he was able to be a great person. He was able to accomplish things that he wanted to accomplish and set goals. Um, Fuck yeah. I'd probably just leave it at that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just like leave That's a legacy lit. behind. So wait, wait, can I ask you guys the same question? Or is it? Sure. Do that. I think <laughs> the fans are already in this spot at some point. What, but yeah. what would you guys want to leave behind? What do I want to leave behind? We need some big concept. We need to, to make, make babies, bro. We need to make, <laughs> we first, make babies. The first Brooklyn. ever. We're going to leave behind a beautiful be a American German baby. Yeah. Anyways, on a serious note, I said this before. I want to leave positivity behind. I want to leave this world knowing that I've spread positivity and left a net positive on this universe, right? Like, you know, because like if you give something positive, you can inspire other people to do something positive, right? And then you're going to leave sure. this world like more positively, you know? For like, sure. for example, Putin. Not so much. <laughs> Pretty yeah. sure net negative. Not my goal. Negative. Not my goal. Negative, negative. Right? Yes. Mario but Adrian. Amazing. Above Putin in terms of that, right? That's my goal. Yeah. My speed is great again. And my speed is great again. That's it. No, that's you did. I did. You, dude, you did. I see. Honestly, I see your stuff a lot. Yeah. Like uh, your stuff pops up. Like, I don't know if it's like, because I know Apple's weird. Like, you're my, one of my contacts and I'm friends like sure, Instagram, yeah. so maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But dude, I mean, yeah, I watch yourself all the time. It's funny as fuck. Fuck yeah, let's go, <laughs> let's go, let's go. Algorithms, thank you. Yeah. yeah. 
So what about what and then about Jeff? What's, what would you want to find? I've been I've been talking to some different people about some different concepts. Like my uh, neighbor, he wants to get together with me to plant a thousand trees. That would but be you know, something like that where you can leave something better behind. Trees. Personally, <laughs> Jeff wants to leave trees behind. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the S trees? <laughs> but look at it. They'll have the little bench rig right in the middle of the park and your name on it. Leave something behind. You planted a thousand trees, right? That's oh yeah, no, you would. So yeah, for sure, for sure. So concepts like that. Fuck yeah. Children, a legacy. Yeah. Yeah. But trees. <laughs> Trees, <laughs> marijuana trees, marijuana <laughs> trees, hundred thousand. Fuck yeah! Hell All yeah. right, guys. So make sure to call your parents, tell them love him. Make sure to follow John <laughs> Wyatt on on Instagram, OnlyFans, wherever you want to find them, and uh, stay uncensored. Leave some questions. Also, leave us a review on Apple, fucking Spotify podcasts, yeah. whatever it's yeah. called, because <laughs> we need more of those. We love you. I'll see you next time. Yeah.